Here we want to order for several items together. For example, we have two products. Product 1 demands 1600, product 2 demands 900. Holding cost 20% of the product cost. Product cost is 500. Holding cost per unit per year would be $100 for each unit of product for one year. The only difference is ordering cost. If you order one product, the fixed cost is 4,000 plus 1,000, which is 5,000. If you order both products together, the ordering cost is 4,000, which is fixed, 1,000 for going to one destination, 1,000 for going to the second destination. Therefore, the ordering cost would be 6,000. 5,000. If you just order one product and carry it to that destination, 6,000 if we order two products together. And suppose if there were third and fourth and fifth product, if we had ordered five products together, then fixed cost would be 4,000 plus 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 5,000 and 4,000, 9,000. So we have the demand and ordering cost and carrying cost for product one. We can just simply go ahead and compute EOQ and then we divide the demand per year by EOQ and that would be the number of times that we order. Ordering cost would be the number of times that we order multiply by cost of each order, which is 5,000. That would be 20,000. And we already know if you order optimal Quantity and ordering cost is 20,000. Obviously, carrying cost is also 20,000. But we also compute it. Each time we order 400 and we assume no safety inventory. Average inventory is 400 divided by 2. In general, what we order divided by 2 is cycle inventory. So cycle inventory or average inventory multiplied by cost of one unit per year. It makes it 20,000. Total cost is 40,000. Cycle inventory is half of what we order. 400 divided by 2, 200. Because we have no safety stock, average inventory and cycle inventory are the same. Inventory turns, cycle inventory is 200, safety stock 0, average inventory 200. Demand divided by average inventory is inventory turns. Flow time, if it is turned 8 times, we can simply say, in one year, it is replaced eight times. It will be there for one over eight years. But we can also use our friend's formula, the Little's Law, the second most important equation in College of Business, throughput times flow time is equal to inventory. The most important is asset is equal to liabilities plus stockholder equity. And that is, to my knowledge, the most important equation in College of Business. The second is the Little's Law throughput times flow time is equal to inventory. So if we write it in the formula, it would be 0.125 year. And if you multiply by 12, you can get it in terms of months. If a year is 50 weeks, we can multiply it, get it in terms of weeks or multiply by number of days in the year and get it in terms of days. For the second product, we follow the same logic. We just compute all of those items and then we have total cost 30,000. And if we add the two costs, 40,000 and 30,000, the total cost of this system is 70,000. Now, if we order all together, this is product one, all the characteristics, and that is 64% of our total products, the other one 900, 36%. Therefore, we multiply everything by these two. So if I'm making it centralized, 0 0.64 times 100, 0 0.36 times 100, this is 64, this is 36, total 100, and this is the ordering cost. If I order product one, 5,000, product two, 5,000, together, 6,000. Now, I have everything regarding an aggregate product, which is 64% product one and 36% product two. The total demand is this. Ordering cost is summation of 4,000, 1,000, and 1,000, and carrying cost is 100. 
if we compute it, we get 547 or 548 as our economic order quantity. In this case, number of orders is 2500 divided by what we order each time is 4.5. Ordering cost simply is 1000. So that will be ordering cost. Carrying cost would be 100 times EOQ divided by 2, the same thing. And total cost would be 5477.2.3 if we divide it by the original one, which was 1,000. That is about 78%. Cycle inventory is what we order divided by two, inventory turn demand divided by average inventory or cycle inventory, and the rest will remain the same. So we will reduce our average inventory, we will increase our inventory turns, and we improve our total costs, reduce our total cost by ordering together. We can have alternative formula to find out how to order. Number of orders can be computed using this formula, demand of product 1 times its carrying cost, demand of product 2 times its carrying cost. And if there are 10 products, we can repeat for all of them, divided by 2 times fixed cost, fixed ordering cost of ordering all together. For example, if there were 10 and if for each one we had $1,000 additional, this would have been 2 times 4,000 plus 10 one-thousands, which was 14,000. But here we only have two products, so the total cost is 2 times 6,000 in the denominator. Demand of product 1 times its carrying cost, demand of product 2 times its carrying cost, divided by 2 times 6,000, which is the ordering cost of two products together, and that will make it 4.5. Five, six. That is what we got for the other formulation. We got it this way. We first computed EOQ. Then we got it the number of orders that we have. To compute EOQ, we worked on the aggregate product. Here, we first compute the number of orders. And we can compute ordering cost since the total demand is 1600 plus 900 and we order 4.5 times this is eoq now we first find n and then eoq in the previous approach we first found eoq and then n and the other things are computed quite straight forward because we order this much 64 percent of it would be product one and 36 percent would be product two. All other computations remain the same. You can solve this problem for practice if you wish, and also this problem.